we probably need to cut ourselves some slack, right? I mean, if ever things are backed up and overwhelmed and needing to be rearranged and reorganized, it would be now because if you're doing the COVID dance well, then you'll probably haven't attend to many projects in your house and certain things that would require engagement with others. And so thinking carefully about, we can't go one, two, three, fix it. You know, we have to kind of slowly move into the new year with some reasonable expectations and not feel flooded and overwhelmed with what we want to catch up with. And again, remembering we're not out of the woods. And just because the vaccine is here doesn't mean that everybody's safe. In fact, even people who get vaccines are still in need of social distancing because there's some evidence that you can still have COVID without symptoms and pass it, even having been vaccinated. So how you manage yourself, even as a vaccinated person, is still present. Steady as she goes, moderation in all things is kind of the way I think about this. And being realistic about those goals for the, for the new year, thinking about, you know, what's motivating you to do that? Do you want to lose that weight because you really want to lose it? Or do you want to lose that weight because it's something that's actually important to you? because research certainly shows that what people really want for themselves that they care deeply about, they're much more likely to achieve. I mean, so as one, as one example, right. And keeping, and keeping goals small and achievable and having a specific goal in mind, like one goal that's achievable is much better than several sort of general ideas. 